Are you ready to start today's video? Oh. Awesome. So, oh, this chest here, isn't this usually the one you use to set it up? Oh, okay. What's in here? What's he talking about? <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I'm finally in a mod. Look at this. <laughs> yes. Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today we're going to be taking a look at a very explosive mod yet again called the Mob Guns mod. Now this mod does exactly what you would expect by turning your favourite Minecraft mobs into deadly weapons. Perfect for you Trios, you absolutely love causing explosions especially using mobs but today we're not going to be using Grim, we're going to be using other things. So I'm going to go ahead and what should I, where did you come from? Hey, why is this injured pig in the lab? Churros, what's going on here? Well, the, he's walking away. He's like, I'm not going to tell you. He must have been doing some weird, weird experiment. I'm sorry, pig. At least you've only lost two health. I'm really sorry, buddy. But anyway, look in here. We've got the gun stash. And look how many guns there are. Just ignore this mushroom stew for a second. How did that get into my image? It's a little, little bit weird. But anyway, these are all the guns that are available. But we're only going to be testing a few out today because I'm going to leave the fun for you guys as well. So to craft any of these guns, so for example, the zombie gun, you need two iron on the top, two iron on the bottom, three diamonds down the right hand side, and one emerald on the left. And that is exactly the same for any other gun. And then the only item that changes is the item in the middle and is usually the ammo for the weapon and also kind of tells you what the weapon is going to be. So rotten flesh will equal the zombie gun and you also need rotten flesh to fire it. The pig gun needs a raw pork chop with the same recipe around the outside and you also need raw pork chops to fire it. Which is why I've got all these random random things in my inventory. Now piggy I know what you're going to ask me. You're going to ask me how do I know which ones I'm going to test out well. Well he's not actually that interested but we're going to go outside and I'll show you how there it is. Look. That is how we're going to decide. So let's go outside quickly and we'll be able to see which guns we're going to need to be able to use today. <sighs> this is why I love this game. Look at this. It's like a mid-air shooting range. It's absolutely incredible. We've got a sheep, a pig, um, a mushroom, a cow. And is that me? Why am I up there? Why is there a clone of me up there? We've got a chicken that's like flying in mid-air. We've got a blaze, a creeper. The wither boss is here. Wow. Don't know how Tyrellus has managed to do that. We've got the squid. We've got a little poor little villager up there. So let's go and grab our appropriate guns, shall we? And we should have all the ammo that we need in our inventory. So this is going to be extra fun. Let's go grab some guns. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's destroy some mobs, shall we? Now, I don't know how explosive some of these guns can be. So we might end up just taking everyone out at the same time. But the idea is to take out whichever one you are firing with. So we are currently holding the pig gun. So we need to aim for this bad boy right here. Let's give it a test quickly. And as you can see, I've got raw pork chops in my imagery. Let's fire it. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I, <laughs> I did not realize that. A baby pig actually comes out. And as you can see, one raw pork chop has been taken away. Oh, my... Oh, and it explodes into pork chops as well. This is incredible. But anyway, let's get to actually destroying something. This pig is moving a lot, by the way. So let's try three, two, one, go. Oh, that was such a shot. I got him straight in the face. So the pig mob gun does four total damage. We're also going to be able to see how much damage each of these does. So the wither has only 20 health. Is that a baby wither? It looks a lot smaller than normal, but the, wow, the pig is bouncing around like crazy. Oh, I missed him. Come on. I can get him. I can get him. I got one more. One more shot. Yes, killed him. So we're one down and pork chop should rain from the sky. Beautiful. Right then, let's move on to the cow now. And the cow will take raw beef to shoot. So here we go. Oh, that was so close. Look at this pig. No, it's a cow. Look at this cow. <laughs> I don't know why I said pig. Anyway, look at this cow. It's so amazing. And it blasts into tiny pieces of raw beef. Let's try and shoot this cow down. He's not moving that much. We should be able to get him now. And he does five damage to the cow does rather than the weak piggy's little four. Right then, who's next? We've got the chicken up next. Wow. Look how tiny that chicken is. <laughs> and his head is on backwards for some reason. Let's take out this chicken here. This is going to be hard. It's a very small target and a very small bullet. Are they going to reach it? Here we go. Yes, done it. How much damage did that do? Only two damage. So the chicken gun isn't that powerful whatsoever, but it's still hilarious to watch. The creeper is up next, but I want to kind of get rid of this sheep because he's, he's just bouncing around and distracting me. So let's try the sheep, shall we? Boom. 
Why is the sheep naked that comes out of this? Why is he naked? <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, let's just blast the sheep into oblivion. Get out of here. There we go. And he drops from the sky. Beautiful. We should get loads of experience by the end of this video. Now we're going to take out the mushroom. So the mushroom, it is a baby mushroom. That's so cute. Look at it. And its head is still on backwards. I have no idea why. And this will take, actually, it will take mushroom stew. So I shouldn't have um, wasted those because I only had seven on me. So I've got three shots to try and kill this mushroom. Let's see how much damage it does. He's bouncing around quite a lot. Let's go. He calmed down. <gasps> that didn't reach him. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Oh, that is a powerful gun. Oh my goodness, that is so powerful. That did that did a total of like, what, 10 damage in total? That's crazy. Right then, Mr. Blaze, it is your turn. And there we go. The Blaze looks amazing. If only it set stuff on fire. But let's take down the Blaze. Will it reach in time? No, it won't reach. Come on, let's do a little jump as well. Come on, I can reach you, Blaze. I'm going to take you out. I'm going to take you out, I swear. Right, you've escaped me this time, Blaze. But now it's the villager's turn. So the villager, you would have thought, would have used emeralds as his ammo. But he actually uses books randomly. And here comes... <laughs> here comes the villagers. Look at them. Oh, man, they're so funny. <laughs> These villagers just explode out at the end of this gun. That's nuts. Um, I think we're going to be too far away for this guy, too. Oh, no, I knocked him off. And he's dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't think that was going to happen. I didn't see how much damage he did, but he did about half, maybe a little bit more. And then and, and the villager is dead. I'm, I'm so sorry. Let's not tell Dre or us. Right then, Wither Skeleton up next. What is this shootout? Actual, <gasps> actual baby Wither Skeletons. That's so cool. Right then, let's see if we can reach the Wither Skeleton from here. We can't even reach him. It's so close and it won't even reach him. That's so bad. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let's move on to Dan TDM. And here he is. The beautiful specimen that is me. And I'm going to have to destroy me to try and get past this shooting range. Right then, this is my Dan TDM gun. So first off, thanks to the mod creator for putting me in this mod. That is so awesome. And to craft my gun, you put a little diamond in the middle. And you're going to need diamond as the ammo as well. So this gun is very expensive. But also very fashionable, cool, and worth it, alright? It's going to be awesome. And it, I think it's severely powerful. So let's try and get this guy. There we go. Oh, oh no. Oh no, Dan TDM, I'm so sorry. Don't don't do this. Don't do this. Don't wiggle around. It's okay. You're sinking in the sand. I'll just leave you there. Oh man. Oh man. But this is cool. Look at this. It fires up mini me's. Yes. Look how cool that is. And I explode into diamonds. What is cooler than this? Oh man, this is so good. And I I did I wasn't lying when I said that it was a powerful gun. It took me out in one shot and I'm back. I'm back for more. Look at this. Straight out to the bottom. <laughs> Oh dear, right then, who's next? Let's try and get this blaze now. Will the blaze work now? Boom! Yes, get out of here. You're knocked off, buddy. Get out of here, Mr. Blaze. You're still sticking around as well. What's wrong with you? You're stuck in the sand too. This sand is, is taking enemies right now. It's taking casualties. Right then, who's next? We've got a squid gun as well. Where's the squid gun? Is it? Here it is. Here it is. The squid gun is here. Let's try and get this squid. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. It's in a, it's in a protective case. How did he do this? He's evolved. I can't even get him from here. Oh my goodness, the squid is impenetrable. Absolutely impenetrable. So let's try and get him a different way. Let's try the wither skeleton gun. And there we go. <laughs> there goes the wither. And he died instantly. Look at you. Look at you. One of your faces, one and a half of your faces in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little wither boss. So, um, I guess the only guy left is the squid and the creeper. So, let's try... Oh, no, there's one more gun I want to show you, which is the Steve gun. Now, this one is interesting because it fires out Steve's, but because I've, like, edited this texture pack to be able to, um, use the Steve's of myself when I didn't have the internet... They're mini-me's as well. So these will be either your skin or Lil Steve's as well. Very cool. And they take apples to fire, which is quite an interesting one. Right then, let's move on to the finale, which is the creeper gun. Now, the creeper gun will take gunpowder to um, be able to be fired or as ammo. And this is why I've saved it till last. It does actually explode. It fires out a big creeper and then just destroys it. So creeper, you're going down. You're going down, buddy. Oh, it took the wither out as well. <laughs> there it goes. And the blaze can go down. Dan TDM can go down as well. Get out of here. And oh, oh, how are you laughing now, squid? Get out of here, you punk. <laughs> oh, no, he survived. This squid, though. This squid, though, he's just way too powerful. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Yes. Yes, you get down there, buddy. You get down there, you little punk. And you, Mr. Creeper, get out of here. Jeez, what's wrong with you? Yes. 
Suffocation. <laughs> Suffocation. But anyway, that's pretty much the mob guns mod. It's a seriously fun mod to mess around with. It's cool that the drops from the mobs give you um, more ammo for their appropriate guns. We've made quite a mess. The squid is going to the top of the, the tower. Okay, see you at the top, buddy. See you later. I'm going to munch on some apples, actually. That's the best part about having apples as ammo as well. You can use them as food or as explosive ammo. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to check out this mod, which I highly recommend, then please go into the description below where you'll find a link to download it. And also, this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me. Please do leave a like if you did enjoy it. And also, hit that subscribe button and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. Again, thank you for watching, and we need to clean up this mess. <laughs> Goodbye. Are you ready to start today's video? Oh. Awesome. So, oh, this chest here, isn't this usually the one you used to set it up? Oh, okay. What's in here? What's he talking about? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I'm finally in a mod. Look at this. <laughs> yes. Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today we're going to be taking a look at a very explosive mod yet again called the Mob Guns mod. Now this mod does exactly what you would expect by turning your favourite Minecraft mobs into deadly weapons. Perfect for you Trios, you absolutely love causing explosions especially using mobs but today we're not going to be using Grim, we're going to be using other things. So I'm going to go ahead and what should I, where did you come from? From. Hey, why is this injured pig in the lab? Churros, what's going on here? Well, he's walking away. He's like, I'm not gonna tell you. He must have been doing some weird, weird experiment. I'm sorry, pig. At least you've only lost two health. I'm really sorry, buddy. But anyway, look in here. We've got the gun stash. And look how many guns there are. Just ignore this mushroom stew for a second. How did that get into my image? It's a little bit weird. But anyway, these are all the guns that are available. But we're only going to be testing a few out today because I want to leave the fun for you guys as well. So to craft any of these guns, so for example, the zombie gun, you need two iron on the top, two iron on the bottom, three diamonds down the right hand side, and one emerald on the left. And that is exactly the same for any other gun. And then the only item that changes is the item in the middle and is usually the ammo for the weapon and also kind of tells you what the weapon is going to be so rotten flesh will equal the zombie gun and you also need rotten flesh to fire it the pig gun needs a raw pork chop with the same recipe around the outside and you also need raw pork chops to fire it which is why i've got all these random random things in my inventory now piggy i know what you're gonna ask me you're gonna ask me how do i know which ones I'm going to test out well. Well, he's not actually that interested. But we're going to go outside and I'll show you how there it is. Look, that is how we're going to decide. So let's go outside quickly and we'll be able to see which guns we're going to need to be able to use today. Oh, this is why I love this game. Look at this. It's like a mid-air shooting range. It's absolutely incredible. We've got a sheep, a pig, um, a mushroom, a cow. And is that me? Why am I up there? Why is there a clone of me up there? We've got a chicken that's like flying in midair. We've got a blaze, a creeper. The wither boss is here. Wow. Don't know how Tyrellus has managed to do that. We've got the squid. We've got a little poor little villager up there. So let's go and grab our appropriate guns, shall we? And we should have all the ammo that we need in our inventory. So this is going to be extra fun. Let's go grab some guns. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's destroy some mobs, shall we? Now, I don't know how explosive some of these guns can be, so we might end up just taking everyone out at the same time, but the idea is to take out whichever one you are firing with. So, we are currently holding the pig gun, so we need to aim for this bad boy right here. Let's give it a test quickly, and as you can see, I've got raw pork chops in my imagery. Let's fire it. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I, <laughs> I did not realize that a baby pig actually comes out and as you can see one raw pork chop has been taken away Oh my oh and it explodes into pork chops as well This is incredible. But anyway, let's get to actually destroying something. This pig is moving a lot by the way So let's try three two one go Oh, that was such a shot. I got him straight in the face. So the pig mob gun does four total damage. We're also going to be able to see how much damage each of these does. So the wither has only 20 health. Is that a baby wither? It looks a lot smaller than normal, but the, wow, the pig is bouncing around like crazy. Oh, I missed him. Come on. I can get him. I can get him. I've got one more. One more shot. 
Yes, killed him. So we're one down and pork chop should rain from the sky. Beautiful. Right then, let's move on to the cow now. And the cow will take raw beef to shoot. So here we go. Oh, that was so close. Look at this pig. No, it's a cow. Look at this cow. <laughs> I don't know why I said pig. Anyway, look at this cow. It's so amazing. And it blasts into tiny pieces of raw beef. Let's try and shoot this cow down. He's not moving that much. So we should be able to get him now. And he does 